All right, today we're going to be making some cracked wheat. Um, it's actually bulgur wheat, uh, and we're going to make this like a pilaf style, like you would rice pilaf. Um, pilaf re refers to the, the, the method of cooking. Um, this is just, um, if you were to see, that's cracked um, wheat berries, essentially is what it is. And they, they just crack it, and it's going to have like the texture and, um, and the look of, of couscous, but it, it's not couscous. Um, but it's, it's really tasty. Um, I mean, I think you'll like it. It's another, you know, it's a new side dish to bring your home instead of making rice or, or potatoes or pasta all the time. This is just a nice new option with something to make. So I started, I fine diced some carrots, celery, onions, and garlic. Um, you just want to nice, have a nice fine dice on those. And I got a medium-sized saucepan. I got a little olive oil in here. You could use butter if you wanted. Um, olive oil is a little better for you. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to take this over to the range and get this. We're just going to, we don't want to saute it on too high of a heat, but we just want to sweat it out just to kind of get the vegetables to turn tr kind of translucent. And that'll start bringing out some of their flavors. So we'll get this over to the range. So we got them on a medium high flame. Again, we just want to kind of sweat those out, bring the flavors out. Uh, we don't really want to caramelize it too much just until uh, they turn a nice translucent color. So when those get cooking down, you really start to smell the aromatics coming out of those. Carrots, celery, and onions are uh, kind of the basis for French cuisine. Um, it's also known as mirepoix in French. It, um, they're all aromatic vegetables. They you know, have nice aromas, and when they get sweating out, it adds a lot of flavor. That's why you'll see it always used in soups, sauces, so it's always a good starting point for anything you're doing, whether it's your rice or um, you know, something like this with grains. So we're going to add our uh, cracked wheat. And this we just want to kind of uh, toast in the oil a little bit. I mean, so just keep your keep your oil or, or your uh, sorry, your heat at the same as it was, but just to kind of give it a little bit extra nuttiness. We're going to toast it out just a little bit. And you just want to give that a couple minutes. You'll start to smell it a little bit. It'll have a, uh, a little bit of a nutty aroma to it. Then this is our chicken stock. Again, this kind of cooks like rice. It's going to absorb all this chicken stock, so it's going to it's going to swell up just like it would if it was um, little grains of rice. So we're going to want to bring this up to a boil. And when we get there, we're going to want to cover it and turn it down to a simmer. Let it simmer for about 10 minutes, and then after that point, take the lid off, fluff it up a little bit, put the cover back on, and turn it off the heat, and let it sit for about another 10 minutes. And then that should be, you know, about right. You'll have nice tender. Uh, you'll know if it's not quite done because it won't be tender. It'll almost be like rice, where it's where it's kind of gritty and chewy. So that's where you want is if it's nice and tender, then you're done. All right. So here's our cracked wheat. It's all cooked down. It absorbed all that moisture. It's a little warm yet, but it cools down a little bit to have a nice, uh, you know, light look to it. It's tender. It's uh, it's somewhere between couscous and rice. I mean, as far as the texture goes, but. It's got really nice nuttiness, tastes delicious, and so, you know, you can serve this with whatever you want. It's really versatile. Um, we're just going to kind of serve it as our main dish here. It's also good cold, too, as a cold salad. So we're just going to kind of have this falling out of our, falling out of our pepper here. You can roast this on the grill a little bit so it's tender. I'm just going to take some fresh thyme. Give it a nice little chop. Sprinkle a little of that over the top. Got some sprigs left. You can, you know, if you got some nice guests coming over, give it a little garnish. There you go. Cracked wheat. A great new uh, side option to have. It's healthy, it's great, tastes good. Something new to bring home. <laughs>